the sport of baseball, pitchers and hitters face two significant luck dragons, left on base percentage and BABIP. Today let's focus on BABIP. BABIP stands for batting average on balls in play. Basically it's the batting average of everything within the chalk, so strikeouts and home runs don't count, but singles, doubles, triples, sacrifice flies, and all other outs do count for or against a player's BABIP. In the late 1990s, a numbers magician named Voros McCracken discovered pitchers have little control over where a ball goes once it gets into play. In other words, even Joe Fan could get a single or a double if he could actually catch a major league fastball. As it turns out, about 70% of all balls hit in the chalk become outs, even if Joe Fan is hitting, while about 30% of all in-play balls become hits. In other words, pitchers with BABIPs much higher than 300 were probably unlucky and will presumably perform better in the future, and pitchers with BABIPs significantly below 300 were probably lucky. In 2005, Mr. Musina had a career-high BABIP of 322. As a result, he did not perform like his usual self, having a 4.41 ERA. The following year, in 2006, Mr. Musina's BABIP decreased, coming closer to his career norm of about 290, and his results on the scoreboard likewise improved. The same can be true for batters, though to a lesser extent, but we'll explore that later. So for now, when seeing eye ground balls and bloop singles are tearing your team apart, summon the BABIP dragon and he will happily even the score. <laughs> 